the uh, rim, if we're losing many to the level that we're losing them in this country annually, it means that there could be a disconnect then. I was just speaking to you just before we went on air. It looks as if the country is celebrating winning the fight against malaria. It looks as if the country is celebrating winning the fight against infant mortality in this country. You know, some of those uh, health challenges that have dogged this country um, way back in history, it looks as if we're making good progress in some of them. But then you look back and say, wait, how can we be winning in one direction and completely seem to be losing in the other as well. You would think that would approach healthcare from a single direction, that we're winning in all fronts. Could you talk to me about this? Are we losing our fight against kidney disease in this country? And if so, where are we getting wrong in terms of policy? Policy guides, policy remains the key yeah. to dealing with some of these diseases. A kidney disease, um, being part of the non-communicable that we know, for example, yeah. we know the government have tried to come up with some, and we appreciate some of these policies in terms of uh, dealing with kidney disease and other NCDs. Mm -hmm. But there is something that we are not getting right. Yeah. The amount of funding that we put on NCDs. We need to put money on NCDs. We need to put money on kidney. We need to put money on consumer. We need to put money on funding issues with dialysis, yeah. issues with transplanting, and more so promotion of health. We need to put money to reduce the number of cases that gets into hospital. Yeah. Let's first agree. The number of health workers that can deal with kidney diseases, as we speak, are not many in the country. There are very few. So that's part one thing that we ought to deal with. Yeah. Where is the health team that can deal with some of these issues? And that's a policy work. Okay. That's a policy issue. Mm -hmm. Number two, funding. And the National Assembly and other, you know, other organs of the government need to check on how much money are we putting to deal with non-communicable diseases. That's number three. Number two. Number three, I talked of the community health workers, okay? There's what we call the task shifting policy that we came, with, we came up with in terms of dealing with NCDs because yes. mm -hmm. let's first agree that the health facility that can deal with these diseases are few. That's number one. Yes. Number two, let's also agree that the health um, workers that can deal with this are few. And then that helps should then come into our, in our mind and say, can we then stop or preventing this disease at the household level by empowering the community health workers or what we call the community health volunteers and community health assistants yes. to make people aware about kidney and other NCDs, then we could reduce the number that clog our health system and our few health workers going forward. Therefore, task shifting policy ought to be implemented to the latter. Pretty much. Number mm -hmm. two, we need to appreciate that money has to go into it. And we appreciate the United Nations, this time at least for the first time, now NCDs was, uh, you know, was recognized. Yes. But there is, we need to go a step further and just stop recognizing, but implementing. But implementing yes, that. Pretty much, Jareem. At this point, let me welcome to the conversation uh, Ali Kapusia, who is a senior nephrologist, nurse and peer mentor. Ali, how are you doing, sir? Good I'm so sorry, you, you, got, you ran into traffic this morning. Let's grab the final few minutes of this conversation. I'm just going to ambush you directly so that uh, our audience gets to understand. Are there levels in kidney disease and are there types of kidney disease? Quickly attack that before we put more questions to you. Yes, there, there are levels and there are types of kidney disease. Yes. Uh, first of all, is that you can have, let me start with the types. That, that you can have acute kidney disease and uh, chronic kidney disease. Yes. Acute kidney disease happens, you lose your kidney function within minutes, uh, hours, or even a couple of days, and uh, to a level that you may need a kidney replacement therapy, a treatment that replaces the function of your kidney. 
that's acute. That's acute. It happens so sudden, and usually the patient becomes so sick, is so sick, and it, most of these patients are lost before even you realize what happened. Hold on. If you're talking about minutes, hours, then what could be leading to this acute disney disease, kidney disease? The, this kidney disease is caused by exactly acute reasons. Yes. <laughs> that, <laughs> I like the way you put it. Yeah. yeah. Acute, acute. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. That um, acute really means you've been fine. Awesome. Then um, something happens to your system that your kidney, you lose your kidney function. For instance, a kidney receives a lot of blood every other time your heart beats, 25% mm. of that cardiac output, I'm talking of blood, goes to the kidney. Think of a kidney, a small tissue, and then receives 25% of that output. That's a lot That's of blood. That's a lot of blood. Mm. Yeah, as compared to the rest of the system. Yeah. So when this, anything that will cause this blood not to reach the kidney that much, Will, will, will really cause a, a, an acute kidney disease. For instance, if you bled, let's say, God forbid, somebody gets out there and bleeds, maybe a mother who is in labor and bleeds even before going to, to labor, bleeds so much, say that the kidney cannot, I mean, it doesn't receive enough blood. <laughs> because what happens is that God is so beautiful. It makes sure that you get preserved. So when you lose your kidney, you, you lose your blood, what happens is that naturally you fall down. That's a nature's way of saving you. Yep. Yes, you, you fall down so that the little blood you have drains to the brain and the heart and the lungs, this, the, uh, these are vital organs that will keep you alive and gets, everything else gets rationed. So your kidney gets blood rationing and when it gets blood rationing for a long period of time, not so long, between a few hours, it starts to die. So the tissue starts to die. And, um, and of course, once it lacks oxygen, it lacks food, nutrition, yes. and all this, and the, mm -hmm. it's, it, 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 it starts dying. That's one reason. The other reason could be even diarrhea, and control diarrhea. You, you, you get you you have get move bowel movements so much especially you realize when somebody has um, an acute um, diarrhea like uh, in case of cholera if they don't get replaced that fluid don't get replaced they go to kidney failure you may not know what killed them maybe even there's a kidney failure so it's so much to that. So yeah. those are some of the things. And of course, infections, like you get an acute malaria. Mm -hmm. uh, you think of treating malaria, but usually it goes to the kidney goes also. The kidney. Mm -hmm. So there's so much that can cause acute kidney. Yes. So if we went to the chronic, chronic, no. a chronic happens slowly. That's a bad one. You, most of them live long <laughs> because you get to realize, and these people don't, look sick at all at first and this has five stages stage one stage two stage three stage four and eventually stage five and this this the causes of this usually are chronic conditions chronic conditions like um, uncontrolled diabetes yes. um, uncontrolled blood pressure high blood pressure of course, you need your pressure, so Isn't it has to be, yeah, high, it has to be high for it to be a problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, and control high blood pressure. Yes. If you do not control this, and uh, the other thing is uh, a condition called glomerulonephritis, that's um, inflammation of the nephrons. Nephrons are the functional units of the kidney. Mm -hmm. So, when you talk of kidney, really, and that's important, is, it is that we are not talking of the tissue itself we are talking about the functional units of the, kidney. of the kidney and mm -hmm. um, there are quite a number of them uh, one kidney would have like 1.2 about 1.2 million that's really that's a big number that's, right? a, that's a huge number uh, that's a huge number so yeah. if you do not control your, your diabetes what diabetes does is that when you do not control it it affects your blood vessels it narrows them 
So it's like a river that is sluggish and therefore there's a buildup of plague and it reduces mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. the, the blood vessels thins up until you literally have no flow to the, to, to the tissues. Right, so this time the, tissue, the blood vessels of the kidney gets affected equally because anything that affects blood vessels, it doesn't spare. It affects every other blood vessel in the body. And as they thin, thinning means it goes now to the organs themselves, they even block in this situation. So, and therefore this, this organ gets denied blood, yeah. gets denied nutrients and all this, and, and they die. And therefore you lose that kidney functions eventually and over time. You, you, you get to lose your kidney completely. completely. But the beauty is mm -hmm. you can salvage it if you, you are, uh, you, if you are a person who is health conscious, like if you would go to the, to the hospitals every oven, not because you're sick, but because you're healthy to take yourself. As a, as a. Or else somebody will take you, yeah. right? So it's just go, not because you're sick, because you want to take yourself to the hospital. Yes, so that you, you want can to be healthy. And you want to be yes. healthy. You know? yeah. And part of being healthy is going yeah, to the hospital. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anytime you assume that. <laughs> it's funny that we're talking it. about it with uh, Jareem. Yeah. The part of being healthy is going to the hospital. Sure. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I'll be coming back to you shortly, though, on this. But, uh, Jerim, just give, let's give him this time, yeah? So that we're we'll getting informed that we only have five minutes for this. Now, two questions, and I want you to answer them precisely and quickly as you can. What are kidney stones? One, and what is kidney dialysis? Quickly hear that. Okay, kidney stones. Um, kidney stones, uh, it's one of the conditions that causes chronic kidney disease. Okay. And um, what happens is that the body becomes, um, it's a bit alkaline, and therefore you, your body starts forming stones. You know stones, <laughs> not stones really, these are mineral stones, okay? Because if you can mix a bit of uh, salt, you realize salt can just harden and become like a stone. Yeah. So, and uh, it affects and it blocks it blocks the, 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 the outlets, okay? It's, it gets, it can affect, you can get it uh, um, deposited in the urinary bladder and goes up and it blocks or it goes up to the ureters or just immediately after the kidney and it, it blocks somewhere called renal pelvis yes. and it blocks the, blocks the flow of urine. And what happens is that then urine, instead of flowing, gets flows back, I mean upstream, goes to where it came from, yeah. and the kidney tissue gets soaked in urine. I see it's something mm -hmm. called uh, hydronephrosis. Yeah. And this uh, hydronephrosis is toxic to the kidney. You know, this is toxic. We need to get it out, but it doesn't get out. Yes. So it gets retained. Um, so over time, if, if you do not get to control it and treat it, you lose your kidney, okay? It's called post-renal cause of kidney failure. Yes. Post-renal, that's after the kidney. Yeah, because some things can happen before the kidney, like when you, you lose a lot of blood or yes. you lose fluid, it becomes half before the kidney. And something else happens within the kidney, it's called intra-renal, which is within the kidney, causes of kidney disease. Yes. So, um, so you, you need to treat it. That's, and you cannot reach here without, um, by the time it kills your kidneys, you're really ignorant about your health. You really don't care. Because <laughs> yes. these are things that announce themselves. You feel pain in the loins because of, uh, you, some people even are lucky to, to drop a, a piece of stone. In, 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 during where, the process of urinating. Yes. <laughs> so, you can hear something just drop in the in the ball, okay? Scary, I'm telling yeah. You. So, yeah. Uh, but then you you can really treat it, yes, and you can prevent it. You, there are a number of medication you can see a nutritionist. These are things that you can with nutrition you can control it. You make uh, you you make the formation of the stones unfavorable, okay? So you you stop it. Yeah. Uh, let's go to dialysis. Dialysis quickly that. Dialysis, uh, dialysis is uh, a form of kidney replacement therapy. 
because um, I'm calling kidney replacement therapy. And that's, and that's a nice name because what really happens is you, you are replacing the kidney function. When you lose your kidneys, you do not make urine. You could be making urine, but there is, you do not remove toxins from your system. Yes. Um, so, and, and you are not even doing something called buffer. Buffering is uh, when you have an HB, you remember the pH? Yeah, thing the in, pH levels back in high school. Uh, yeah. Back in high school. <laughs> yeah. So, your body needs to be, to have a certain pH level. Yeah. When it's high, then you are alkaline. Your system is alkaline and doesn't support life. Yes. When it's low, it's acidic and doesn't support life. Yes. So all this becomes a complication. It's a cascade of things. Yeah. So then uh, what, what happens now is that you need something to replace that function of that kidney. Yes. Important, before even I mention it, is that when you talk of kidney failure, we are saying all your kidneys. That's if you're lucky to have both of them, because you can have one, okay? You can have a um, lone kidney, born with it. So when I'm talking about kidney failure, it's about the, two the kidney gone. function in you. Gone. Gone. So don't ask me. <laughs> you don't have <laughs> Don't. So. <laughs> now. I have no kidney. You have no kidney function. Yeah. So. Uh, the kidneys are there, the tissues are there, but they don't, mm -hmm. don't function. Don't so function. Mm -hmm. what happens now is that uh, in, in the normal physiology, what happens is yeah. 